you know that situation where a girl is pregnant she doesn't know the father of her child mm -mm. not with this app your period can stain the pants like hi chocolates welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to share with you guys the things that i use during my period week to make myself comfortable you know how uncomfortable period can actually make or some of us so people are very very i don't know their period doesn't give them headache but people like me that period gives headache i always find a way around it to you know make myself happy make myself comfortable even when it's so hard i'm just going to be sharing with you guys basic things that i do to make myself comfortable this is just me i am not speaking from another person's perspectives i am talking about myself how i do it and how it has helped me checking from my analytics i found that that my viewers are from 18 to 45 years old yes so which simply means which simply means that all of us are seeing our period except if you're having hormonal imbalance or just um a problem that needs medical attention other than that we all are seeing our period we all are adults okay so in case you don't know what period is you can just help me by looking that out in google google will tell you break it down for you and also i just want to dive right into the video the first thing i do is i install a period tracker i have this period tracker that i have been using for so long it is called lady timer i'm going to put the icon here so in case you want to look that out i have that tracker that helps me know when my period is going to start and when it's going to end my ovulation period and also it helps me you know if i want to keep track of my sex life i can actually do that yes on that app okay so you know that situation where a girl is pregnant she doesn't know the father of her child mm -mm. no with this app you can actually you know whenever you have intimacy you can just click it on there that i had intimacy protected or i had intimacy unprotected do you know what i mean i don't want to break all those things down yeah okay so yeah so i use that app it helps me track my period that's the first thing okay so i think every lady should look out for apps like apps that help them calculate their period time and all yes that's what i use now before my period i used to get a sign there's a sign i have either i get this migraine two three days migraine once it happens i know that period time like it shows that my period is about to show in the next three days i take a pain relief drug i have this pain relief drug that i use it's called telanol telanol so um that's what i take i just take two of it to help subside the pain and also when i take the pain relief it also get me ready for um my period day because during my period i have cramps guys please don't advise me don't tell me not to take drugs during my period i am telling you honestly that the pain that i get mm -mm, is unbearable i cannot bear it jesus christ my waist my legs are gone my back is gone my head is aching everything is happening to me at once you want me to bear that no i can't so i always take pain relief the first day of my period and after the first day of my period i can actually manage the little you know those little pains that can just come and go come and go those as if it's con contraction but you see the first day mm -mm, don't tell me not to so i always have my pain relief drug that i take um on the first day of my period before my period i make sure i shave i make sure that i'm not bushy down there okay if you're not the kind of person that I shave clean fine trim just make sure that the hair down there is not long so i make sure the hair down there is not long i have learned to make sure that place stay without bombs so i know when to trim i know when to shave then i'm using a um, shaving cream like this one right here the vid shaving cream or i'm using um, a shaving stick okay so i just make sure that place is not long i don't want blood to blood to um, stick to the hair that's where it starts smelling okay especially when you don't even wash Especially when you when you go and pee, you don't wash. You you pee, you wash. You pull, you don't wash. The blood is the blood will stick on your hair, and it will smell. That is when the whole village will know that you're in your period because it's going to be smelling. Blood smells. And now let me tell you what makes blood smell. Blood, when the blood is inside the body, it doesn't smell. That is why I love tap on. Okay. Now, but once the blood drops out and air touches it, that's when blood smell blood only smells when blood when air touches it but when air did not touch it it's inside it will not smell it will only smell like blood but when it's out and air touches it that's when it smells like bad blood 
okay so yeah that is it so yeah that is make sure you always shave before your period okay if you like shaving once a month like i have started shaving once in a month so if you're that kind of person that shaves once in a month just wait before your period you shave so you'll be clean down there and ready to for your those bad bloods to leave all right on the day of my period i make sure i take a hot shower i don't know i don't know it's just i don't know how i feel i feel good when i do that normally i don't take a hot shower but in my head i feel like when i take a hot shower it goes in i it just goes and break all those defenses all those things that just make me have cramps i feel like it breaks it down for me like at least help relieve the pain it helps me so i take a hot shower and in the shower i make sure everything smells good okay i start layering my scent right from the shower i make sure everything smells good i love to use shower gel during my period so anytime you see me with shower gel just know that i'm buying the shower gel because of my period week okay this is the one i currently bought you know tiktok actually put me on this i don't really drop the review about this um shower gel how i feel about it and all this is how much i've used so far so i always use shower gels during my period i don't know why i do that i just i just find myself doing it like i said my period my period week i just do things that make me comfortable do things that make me smell nice feel nice it's all about me okay so yeah that is how it is i don't you know this how this is me personally that i'm sharing here so i take my bath with a shower gel you know and i love to bath directly from the bucket because i want to always put my disinfectant this disinfectant and i always go for this lime this premier lime fresh antiseptic liquid guys this is this smells good your bathroom will literally be smelling nice as you're coming out of the bathroom you're, you're smelling good like smelling good smelling good i i'm smelling good all through so in my shower i just make sure that everything smells really really good then for my intimate wash i use the femme fresh my god i've been using femme fresh for a long time this brand i trust the femme fresh i don't know guys if my you can see it properly femme fresh is one brand that i trust so far i've been using for 12 15 years honestly yes i've been using this since from when i was a teenager my auntie used to use it she left she forgot her own i started using it that was how i started learning all these things honestly so femme fresh i use it's a daily family wash but i don't use my own all the time okay sometimes i just want to use water and wash down there sometimes i just go with my femme fresh but during my period i use my femme fresh all through the period the, the period week i use my femme fresh to wash down there okay so yeah that is another thing that i use during the shower so once i'm out of the shower i apply my lotion do all those things normal skincare routine i don't forget to use my body mist okay that's all about smelling good now let's go into what i use during my period to hold the blood okay well when i started seeing my period i was a pad girl but honestly i never loved pad pad makes me really uncomfortable it just gives me this heat down there and i'm so tired of it then i started doing tap on so guys i started using tap ons this is tampax i'm sure this is tampax the one that is left only one that is left this one is um previc this oh no this is not previc okay i used previc as well Privic has finished. The Privic um, tapon has finished. This is beautiful. I even prefer the Privic tapon to this Tampax. I just like the Privic. Okay. I use Privic as well. Privic is 12. Uh, I think this one is 12 as well. Then this one is like 16 in a small pack. Short, short like this. You just have to use your finger and put it in. But this one has applicator. You used to you know apply the tapon into your VJJ. Okay. So I love tapons because. Once I use them, I'm so free. I can wear my J strings. I can I might not wear my panties, and I'm good. Except I'm going out. Whenever I'm going out, I make sure I include a panty liner in case it gets full on time. Because sometimes you might think that you're having a light a light flow that day. The next thing, pour, everything will pour. So, but just to be on the safe side, once I apply my tap on into my VJJ in my pants, I use my panty liner. This is by Moped. I I love using Moped panty liner look look i love the way it is i love the way it feels i like i like the way that it's so thick here i just love it okay and it can stick to your panty so yeah so i put my panty liner just to make sure that in case there's a drop it will just drop on the panty liner it will not drop on my pants period can stain the pants like when you start washing your pants it will be so annoying like you and see i've 
like i hate stains on my pants i can just fling it i went last month to buy ending of last month to buy tampon tampax is written 7500 previx i did not even see previx previx is it previx previx i did not see previx and i did not see the short one that i've been managing so the only thing that was on the shelf was um and um, tampax and it's seven thousand i'm like how did we get here the last time i bought tampax was by force for three thousand eight hundred naira now seven thousand five hundred for what that was how i did not buy tampon this month because i mean it's, it's getting crazy and when i looked at the shelf i saw this part guys i saw this part i've been hearing about honey pot honey pot honey pot the honey pot company part okay so i started using the part they say it's an organic part the light flow is 20 inside while the heavy flow is 12 inside like it's minty and there's lavender scent a little slight lavender scent aloe vera it is cool down there the lightweight one is short while the heavy weight is long i love this one the heavy flow the heavy flow is long it's longer very long i like this one yeah that's it about it so i had to buy this too i don't know if you guys are interested in having a review about so i can just give you guys details about the part okay because this video is not really for this part it's just me showing you the part that i currently tried all right so yeah that is it about the part that i use so i changed my part um twice honestly i wear in the morning um the next thing i wear because i don't have heavy flow so i don't have that kind of flow that will make me want to change my pad three to four times a day or maybe if i'm going out in between the day i'll have to change my pad that will make it three times i'm just being honest yes i'm being honest okay yeah that is it now another thing that i learned in this process because i told you guys i hate part me so one thing that i've learned is to apply a little petroleum jelly vaseline or any petroleum jelly of your choice in between my ties that has the vjj that side that your pants will stick to that's where i apply it then i wear my pad i just apply a little vaseline in between that those places that um the pad the the, the lines of the pad the lines of the pant will stick i just apply it there okay i'm going to put a video maybe um, a picture to show you what the places i mean I don't have to explain you know now this side mm -hmm. by so doing I, I started feeling better i started feeling fe better because before that place was just dry and it's so irritating so annoying but right now i think i'm cool i don't have problem <laughs> yes but see i'm still a tapon girl honestly tapon is very very sweet tapon is is really really comfortable for me if you ask me honestly another thing that i do is i take green tea except i'm a tea girl so yeah this is the tea this is called gruna tea it means green tea so you can take any tea of your choice okay so for me i take green tea every mornings okay but during my period i just had to increase the intake of tea hot tea you know to help break down those 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 blood that are cloth those clothed blood you know just break it outside to just flow and give me rest because i feel like when the blood is so hard to break that's when it just comes with cramps and a lot of things so i take my tea and i don't miss putting my honey sorry my honey is not here i don't know if i should stand and show you any honey company of your choice okay uh let me just show you guys there's a scientific backup for using honey in your tea okay just look that up in google google will show you a lot of things so since i learned that i don't miss honey in my tea okay so i always make sure i take tea during my period to help me stay awake stay like put my body so and mind together because see if you don't try to make yourself comfortable that period that's when you start nagging mood swing will start flying you don't want to see anybody period will make you hate your neighbor for four days the next thing you get up and greet them again period is so annoying period will give you headache like my head literally aches during my period okay so yeah my period after care is very simple i don't know if you guys do that okay i started doing period after care when i was still in my year one in school so i started using insertion okay any antifungal insertion to you know when i know you start put insertion or tablet into your vjj it will go in and wash down anything death anything jams anything maybe if you have infection goes heal those places you know and still pour out okay that drop of period that normally comes that last one that used to look very dark 
I normally put in use insertion tablet to you know go wash all those things out. One of the best insertion that I've ever used is this um clovinol. I'm going to put the picture of the clovinol on the on the screen so you guys can see it. I currently use and I have been used, not currently, currently because I've been using clovinol for years since 2020. That's when I discovered clovinol. Clovinol can fight bacteria like fast fast just two insertion of provinol i don't know whatever it is that is wrong with you down there you're okay so i normally insert just one of this okay once i insert it after my period it goes in there if there's any germs anything anything it just just washes down for me and that's it just one sometime i just used two because i used one yesterday i had to leave it so you guys can see this is what it looks like. It's so, once it enters into your VJJ, it melts. Now, if you have infection and you insert clovinol, it will burn you. There's this little burn, not overwhelming burn. It will burn you for some time. Then later, it will not relieve you. You do it again, it will burn. Once you're healed, that place is healed of whatever that has infected it, and you apply it, it will not burn you. That's when you know you don't have infection. So once in a while, I just insert this into my VJJ, you know, to go take care of, do this work, and that's it. So, and I use it mostly after my period. That's the only period after care that I have. So, guys, this is just all I do during my period to make myself comfortable. I don't know if there's anything I've not mentioned. So, guys, I really want you to share with me down in the comment section what you use during your period um, time, period week. How do you, you know, stay clean? what do you use what kind of pad or tap on do you use i want you guys to just let's talk in the comment section let's just share please in the comment section guys and i want to use the opportunity to thank you guys for your for your good comments like i get people come to my comment section and add you know they add something they they, 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 they write a note you know trying to add to what i've said um, oh you guys are sweet okay i really want to grow a healthy community down here i don't want hate i don't want fights i don't want anything look i love my girlies the girls that come and comment under my comment section you guys are educated because i mean the kind of the kind of contribution you add to my content i really love it okay so please don't stop doing it please. if you're that kind of person that whenever you appear everywhere is bad everywhere is smelling bad please just try and incorporate these things that i've shared i promise you it will not be like that anymore so yeah guys i've come to the end of this video i hope you find it helpful do well to leave a comment like share and make sure you subscribe okay i really need you to be in this community subscribe be cool so yeah i'm going to see you guys in my next one but until then please love yourself and love your neighbors bye guys